New and updated mods are out now for Farming Simulator 22. A total 17 mods were released on the in-game mod up. All platforms got 10 new and 4 updates, and PC and Mac players got a few as well. One new and two updates. If you like staying up to date yourself with all the latest mods and news in Farm Sim, make sure you're subscribed. Otherwise, let's check out today's mods. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have the Northern Farms from SFTN. Now, if that name kind of sounds familiar, that is content creator simulation for the nation. YouTuber, man, he's been around a long time. It is super cool. He made a map. He actually made a map of his own farm. This is a map based on four real life farms situated across uh, Northumberland. UK? I don't know how to say that. Uh, it's a replica of the real life farm stitched together with real life field design animations, birds flying around the map, etc. And also pedestrians, but Yos has a mod to take care of those. Uh, all custom models built by himself for the purpose of this map. 75 fields of different sizes to be farmed, missions available across many different fields, small, medium, uh, and he says huge, though I don't think they're too big on here. One nice thing, you can buy the entire outside of the map. Uh, you're not supposed to be able to get over here into this dark green area, but <coughs> it's not that high. I think you'd be okay. You'd be able to get through there. Um, uh, otherwise, it's, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, it's super cool to, again, see a YouTuber that's not only made a map, their first map, the first mod on Mod Hub, but they've also done it for all platforms, and it's their farm. It's so cool. Taking a quick sneak peek around the main farm right here. If you're curious, again, all custom models been built specifically for this map. Uh, you may see a little jitter here or there. I'm still loading in some custom shaders, so uh, it may still take me a moment to get them all in. As for the map itself and what we get, we are up here right now. We've got four fields, eight, nine, and six, and five. Now we can buy some more if you want to all spread out through most all the fields can be purchased individually or they've got a little bit of an area where there's like three fields like this one but it's or four fields rather um but you could probably pile those up and be okay again i know one thing you could buy the outside of the map for free um uh, zero dollars and you could own it the thing is as well is like this area up in here let's see if we can show you that so that's gonna be all of this up here uh there's no collision through here so you can buy all of this for zero and come in and treat it like a logging map uh, the ground is uh, done in a really nice way where you don't have to clear anything it can be flattened out easily if you want to it's so cool that they've been able to do that i i think the idea was that no one would go over here but let's be real this is the first place i looked when i looked on the map so Hey, you guys could probably could as well. You've also got a really nice area through here. Uh, yeah, it's just pretty sweet. Also, I think you can kind of tell where they assumed people wouldn't go past anymore. But right here. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Uh, yeah, DJ definitely went over there. So yeah, check this out. Very, very cool map. The Northern Farms Simulation for the Nation. Let's also take a look at a few things like a custom growth calendar, for example. So that looks very, very cool. A little bit different than what we're used to seeing and equipment we have the massey ferguson 3670 as well as the john deere 7810 we got the joints of our top liner and we have a jcb telehandler as far as trailers we've got the class carrot we've got a header we've got a smaller plow nice a uh, horse disc era it's pretty cool we've got the uh nordston planter or cedar rather roller which is not something we always get uh fertilizer sprayer and spreader rear mower a tether wind rower we've got a round baler something to feed your animals with. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff for that JCB telehandler, and we have a trailer for your header. So there you go, the Northern Farms out now for all platforms. Next up, we have the Straw Harvest Pack from Creative Mesh. Now we've made a couple videos on this already, so I'm not gonna go over everything, but uh, if you guys remember Straw Harvest Pack from Farm Sim 19, or maybe the uh, add-on Straw Harvest from Farming Simulator 17 that was on PC, well, uh, well, it is now out for all platforms on the mod up, full free as uh, just a mod pack at the end of the day. Again, I've already made a couple videos, so go check those out. One thing that is a little bit different from the version of uh, Straw Harvest that I showed you guys is this building right here. We have a fourth building. This is for storing bells and pallets. So we can get in here and uh, basically you set up your bells and pallets there. And over here we get stuff out, although there are no... Uh, bells or pallets in there right now holds 1,000 of them, which is pretty cool. 
but would have been nice to see this in the preview copy. Next up, we got something pretty cool. This is the Semi Fortis, which is super awesome. Now you may be saying, oh wait, don't we have one of those already? We do. This is the one with gray wheels, not the one with white wheels. Yeah, because uh, it also only has one in there as well. So there is that. So yeah, I don't know how you want to take that. 128 horsepower, 166 or 193. We got wheel brands from Trelleborg, BKT, Continental, Michelin, Midas, Nokian, Fridastein, and back in again. And we got all your standard stuff through here. Uh, narrows, wides, weights, all that good stuff. Beacon lights, these are pretty cool. On the top, we have none. We got one on the left, one on the right, or both. Or you can make those LED, which I think is pretty cool. Front loader protection. This is something I'm really interested in. Is I like that little bit at the very front. I think that just looks cool. And you could just add that here. It's completely separate from the front loader parts, which I love that. That's awesome. So you know what? I'm going to leave it on there. The stolen one stays. Warning signs on the back. We go yes or no, depending on what kind of map you're on and how you want to play front loader attachments. We've got Quickie, Hauer, Stoll, and MX. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't MX PC only? This is an all-platform mod, so... Very cool to see that. Hey, I'll take it. And then we have our license plate, which of course is DJ Gohan. I did load it into the game, but unfortunately it doesn't look like there's anything that we could do other than uh, maybe raise and lower the front loader uh, whenever we would get to that point. Also due to the engine setup that we've gone for, it it's about as fast as K-Bot's pet turtle. Yeah. Next, we got a fertilizer spreader for you. This is the Roush Xera H1101. This will hold 3,250 liters of solid fertilizer only. No lime in here. Weighs half a ton by itself. 42 meters spread at 11 miles an hour. We got a couple different designs for the warning signs on there. And then we can add a ladder if you want to as well. If I've learned anything, these are actually massive in compared to what you think they are in game. Some stuff I'm kind of excited to see more Romaco mods. This is the U436HP. It's a cultivator. It's from JMZ Modding. 245 horsepower required, 6 meters at 8 miles per hour. On here, Will Brands, we have Trelleborg. We also have BKT, Michelin, Nookian, Bristan, and back in. So a lot of different wheel options. And not only that, but a lot of different wheel setups just for... Ooh, cultivator. And then we've got a little bar on the back with the like, beam with lights. So if you want that, you can be on the road. We'll definitely go with that option. And then colors. We have a couple different blues. And then we have a couple different setups for the rollers and uh, and the tines as well. That's pretty. You know what? For cultivator, that's plenty of customization. But if you prefer a disc arrow to a cultivator, well, the same monitors have brought you something else. The Romaco U671, also from JMZ Monic. Uh, 240 horsepower required on here, six meters at 11 miles an hour. So very similar to that cultivator. Wheel options, we start off with Trelebeug, but we can also do BKT, Bertestein, and back in. So not as many choices here, but still, couple choices nonetheless fenders we've got those never thought i'd put fenders on something like this but hey you got them a uh, finger comb you could do that if you want to so all the way in there there that is and then leveling discs you got those too if you want a main color we've got all three of the same main colors and then we have all the design colors as well now as far as i can tell utilizing these two together there's no way to run them both at the same time, but then again, they kind of both do the same job anyway. Not very often that we have a mod that starts with a number rather than a letter, but here we go. This is the 7.5M Dribble Bar, 7.5 meters, 20 horsepower at 8 miles an hour. We've got a couple different customization options. We have a splash plate on there. We have an add fill point. Um, we also have old and old with fill point. And then we have a couple different customization options for colors. So a couple different things through there, down at the bottom, and then all the way around the outside. If this looks familiar, it's because this is from 40 Modding and Iron Agri Modding. So this is meant to be used with their slurry spreader. And of course, we have some placeables for you. The first one is the Brick Shed with Barn. Now, these together, the, uh, the barn is kind of always there, but one of them has a brick shed attached to it so let's take a look at that one first i will say the sound clips they have on this sound so good they sound so good so as you can see you can get through the entire building here and then we've got a bit here kind of open that watch out hit you in the head uh walk through here and we've got a full opening there I'm trying to see if there's any doors through here oh that one's creaking let's see if we can creep out here real quick let me out so we do have a couple sets of doors through there and then over here the regular 
barn regular barn yeah regular barn this is the same thing but it's well, it's just a regular barn. Next mod is the Hall Barn Garage, and that's just a bunch of words put together. Uh, this actually has three placeables, at least that it'll be fine. Um, but for some reason, this seems like a mod that would have a couple more. Big, big barn in here, so a lot of places to store stuff, which is very nice. And we've got these new, like, cloth doors. That's kind of cool, I like that. And then we've got some more areas over here for cattle, so yes. These are cow barns. They don't hold too much. Uh, 70,000 liters of food, I believe. Let's see if we can pull around here. 60,000 liters of food. Okay, manure is 70,000 liters on this one. However, manure is definitely interesting because if we come around towards the backside, you can see over here, this is where you would get your manure. And I, I, don't, I don't know what this is, but, but this is where you get your manure. So yeah. And I can't open that for some reason. This opens though. Uh, trying to figure out what in the world that is. I have no idea. Anyway, this is where you get your manure. Now we have a version over here as well, but that does not have manure. It has everything else. And then we have this little building. Now this little building says it's got a workshop, a garage with workshop, something like that. But th there's nothing. And it's in containers for some reason or tools. So, I mean, it's around. This is a shed. This goes in sheds. And your last new one for all platforms is a shed that is a shed, the Polish shed. $25,000 costs you 20 bucks a day for upkeep. Very nice brick on here. Man, that looks, man, that looks really good. I'm really up close to that. And a nice little overhang. Looks nice. That's all the new ones for today. So let's talk about updates. We start with the Case IH AFS Connect Steiger series from Crawl Farms and Custom Modding. This is going to be version 1.1.1. Fix the rear attacher visibility on the Steiger large frame. Next, we have the Lizard 6522 version 1.1. They've added the Lizard 65 pack. Included, we have the Lizard 65 Green Carrier, the Green Wagon Trailer, the Green Carrier again, another Green Carrier and some more grain carriers yeah and an update to the mascar montana 600 nope it is not an ascar race it is an smi modding mod <laughs> this version 1061 fix the work function with the rich marker configuration own and the last update for all platforms today is the small uk cow barn version 1001 manure now spawns chip it over to new ones for pc and mac players we only have one of them today it's joskin modulo 2 and if this looks familiar it's because i think we've got a couple mods that are exactly like this however this one can be rebranded which is kind of nice we have different wheel options we have design colors so we can change up uh, that and we have different rims so if you go with the joskin you can have those yellow rims 150 horsepower 12 meters at 10 miles an hour this is manure system ready as well so uh, i have mentioned in the past that i thought some mods releasing on consoles were a bit silly when they're based around uh, manure system well this definitely was not rounding out the mods today we have reduced engine braking force update for pc and mac players version 1004 Warning chapter nine deleted. Script incompatibility to CVT add-on. It will deactivate then by itself. And then update 1.13.1.x optimization. And lastly, the show fill level name version 101 fixed the improved display for mods with improperly defined fill unit. And that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed if you do. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure that notification bell is on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Not a bad day today. We got a new map for you guys for the UK. Uh, straw harvest is just killing it today, which is super cool. Uh, and we got a new tractor, some new tools. Oh yeah, that Case IH AFS update. Gotta love that. Let me know what your favorite mod was down in the comments. Otherwise, just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.